Hello and welcome to this TDD tutorial and welcome to the fifth section of this course. In previous sections we saw essentials of writing testable code. We mentioned few principles we should follow and some things we should avoid. During the times we talked about things that we should avoid, we mentioned that some of these problems should be solved by mocking or that the problem itself is that mocking cannot be done. That is why in this section we will explore testing modular code we are mocking and actually explain what is the secret behind it. To be more precise we will talk about what mocking is, how to manually create mock objects and we will talk about mocking frameworks in general and show example of using mock you framework. So let's start from the first video in this section, introduction to mocking. Here we will investigate what the mocking actually is, we will talk a bit about replacement objects and we will see what are the mock objects and what are the benefits of using them. Also we will prepare for the next videos in this section. So what is mocking? Well first of all it is an important part of unit testing in general and with that it is important part of TDD. This mechanism is used when we have dependencies on our unit under test. The dependencies may be some other classes, but sometimes they could be some external parts of the system. So we want to escape diving into integration test territory and we want to isolate our unit under test. We are achieving this by exchanging that dependencies with the code that imitates their behavior. But instead of uh, accessing the real data, we use fake data to drive the workflow of the test. We are achieving this by creating replacement objects that imitate dependencies behavior. There can be three types of these objects. Fakes, those are the classes that replicate the objects but don't interact with other classes. They're pretty rigid and they're used just for a simple testing, not really recommended. Stubs are classes that replicate behavior of dependencies but are not used for test verification. And finally mocks. Classes that replicate behavior of dependencies but can also be used for test verification. And this is their biggest power. To emphasize, mock objects are instances of test provided classes that simulate the behavior of external components and isolate the code of the unit under test. Another benefit of mocks is that using these classes, because they are using fake data, we can simulate situations that are hard to make in a real world or in testing in general. So these situations can be like some specific exception like hard disk full exception or something like that. Also we can check the validity of the data this way. Of course the main goal of mock objects is to imitate dependencies and that is important to remember. So, we are going to run through one example. In this example, we'll be used through call section. We'll see in the implementation of equipment item and equipment bundle factory and employee. Yeah. And also we will see implementations of employee service, whose functionality will be to connect employee and the equipment bundle and audit service that will store information in some sort of audit file. Finally, our goal will be to develop equipment service class using TDD, of course, which will create a new bundle and assign it to employee. After that, it should call audit service to store information about employee and the bundle into a file. So let's take a look at the existing implementation. So here we are. Here is the employee class. It has an ID of the employee and some equipment bundle. And this equipment bundle is just a list of liquid equipment items. So it's just a wrapper around it. And the item itself has just the name of the item, kind of simplifying this a little bit. And of course, we are having a bundle factory which has this function that creates standard bundle. It basically creates three items and adds them to a bundle and return that bundle. As you can see we are having some tests here of course and if we run them they will pass. So that's pretty much the setup for the, this section and we will now investigate how we can implement another service which is called equipment service that will, that will satisfy the conditions we already mentioned. 